So let us look at this conceptual MCQ. All of the following are features of early congenital syphilis except snuffles, Hutchinson's teeth, condylomas and pemphigus syphiliticus. How to go about it? If you see carefully, all the four are features of congenital syphilis. One of them is a late feature, three are early features. So we know that congenital syphilis is of two types, early and late. Early syphilis presents within two years, it is due to direct invasion by the spirochetes which have crossed transplacently. Whereas the late syphilis presents after two years and it is usually caused by delayed hypersensitivity reaction. So early congenital syphilis, the first sign is rhinitis also known as snuffles. The important thing about rhinitis which you need to understand that it is a, it is associated with white copious discharge. This white copious discharge is full of, it is teeming with bacteria. So it is a highly infectious discharge which is present in these children. One to two weeks later after the onset of rhinitis, these children develop rash. Rash can be of multiple types but two types of lesions are classically described in early syphilis. First is condylomas. Condylomas are associated with maculopapular rash elsewhere on the body. What are condylomas? Standard books define condylomas as gray black flat topped lesions. They are commonly found in the angle of mouth as well as in the perianal area. In Southeast Asia, they are more commonly seen in the perianal area. Like rhinitis, they are filled teeming with bacteria. And this is how condylomas look like, condylomas in the perianal area. The second type of rash is a pemphigus-like rash in syphilis seen uh, in young children. We call it as pemphigus syphiliticus. Vesicobullus rash commonly seen on the palms and soles may also occur at other sites. This is pemphigus syphiliticus. There are multiple discrete tense blisters present over a normal looking skin and serous discharge will contain spirochetes. So important point to remember is rhinitis, condylomas and pemphigus syphiliticus. All the three varieties are features of early syphilis. They appear early and all of them have spirochetes which can be identified and isolated. Whereas if you look at this question, snuffles, Condylomas, pemphigus syphiliticus are early syphilis. Hutchinson's teeth is the odd one out here and this is the answer. What is Hutchinson's teeth? This is Hutchinson's teeth. Hutchinson's teeth refers to peg-shaped central incisors. They are peg-shaped upper central incisors. They are widely spaced and they have notches on their crown like this. Hutchinson's teeth is a feature of late congenital syphilis. And so the answer to this question is P. Thank mm -hmm. you.